Hello and welcome to our second exhibit in a series of virtual storytelling of Wayne County memories. I'm Paul Sailors, local history assistant at the Wayne County Public Library in Goldsboro. Today, I will continue the conversation in our Wayne County memory project and share a brief history of the Wayne County Public Library, which grew from the Goldsboro Women's Club. First, I'd like to give some thanks Wayne County Public Library received a North Carolina CARES Humanities Relief Grant from the North Carolina Humanities Council. Funding for North Carolina CARES has been provided by the National Endowment for the Humanities as part of the Coronavirus Aid Relief and Economic Security Act. It's an economic stabilization plan. I've divided the history of the Wayne County Public Library into six phases. So we will begin with phase one. Goldsboro Women's Club Mental and Cultural Health Department Library was founded in 1899. The history of the Wayne County Public Library is rich and enlightening. The Goldsboro Public Library was founded by the Goldsboro Women's Club. This club early declared its purpose to form a recognized center for social and mental culture in Goldsboro. The first meeting place of the Social and Mental Culture Department of the Goldsboro Women's Club took place over Parrott's Shoe Store on West Walnut Street. Mrs. Solomon Wheel, Sarah Einstein Wheel, as chairman of the library committee, secured over 1,000 bound volumes and many magazines and periodicals. There were 20 bookcases with locks and keys that were filled with books and magazines and sent to outlying points of Goldsboro, such as Greenleaf, Webtown, and Factory Hill. As the years passed and the library grew in volume, these traveling cases were sent to the schools of Wayne County and in turn to the surrounding counties of Lenore, Sampson, Duplin, Ash, Green, Carteret, Caldwell, and Perquimans. The document to the right in this slide is the official proclamation and acceptance of the Goldsboro Women's Club handing over the library to the city of Goldsboro with signatures of six ladies and six gentlemen, Miss Sally Kirby, J.E. Robinson, Miss Mary Borden, George C. Royal, Mrs. Solomon Wheel, and George A. Norwood, Jr. It was introduced by Lionel Wheel passed by Board of Aldermen meeting on 4th of August, 1907. And in the fall of 1907, Miss Lewis was selected to go to Chapel Hill for a short course in library work. Phase two of the Goldsboro Public Library at City Hall from 1907 to 1930. The entire upstairs of the City Hall was devoted to the collection and the library was established with a full-time librarian in charge, her pay being $15 per month. From this time, the library grew in volume and was a finite part of the city administration, the yearly budget for books and periodicals being $50. In 1914, Ms. Mary Faison Devane became librarian and through her efforts and vision, the library prospered. Originally from Wilmington, North Carolina, Ms. Devane, at the time of her death in 1946, was a director of the Goldsboro and Wayne County Libraries. A former president of the Consolidated Women's Club of North Carolina, she was a member of the Colonial Dames and the Huguenot Society. She was a graduate from Women's College of the University of North Carolina and of Columbia University. Phase three of the Wayne County Public Library was a new and expanded home for the Public Library 1930. On August 5th, 1929, Lionel, Edna, and Helene, Solomon and Sarah Wheel's three children gave their childhood home at 204 West Chestnut Street to be used as a library. This plaque in this slide hangs in the Wayne County Public Library in Goldsboro as you walk into the breezeway. It's just to your right. It was to commemorate and in gratitude to the Wheel family. 
With the gift of the house and grounds was $5,000 to remodel the building for this purpose. On the first floor of this building was the memorial room in honor of Mr. and Mrs. Solomon Wheel and served as a meeting place for the board of trustees. There is a periodical room where bound magazines were kept for reference. There was a large stack room and on the east side of the house, two general reading rooms and a librarian's office. The upstairs, the entire upstairs, was devoted to a beautiful children's department. Phase four, the Bookmobile and the Alice H. Brown Public Library, 1940 to about 1964. In 1941, the library was open to all white residents of Wayne County and a bookmobile was ordered through the North Carolina Works Projects Administration Library Project to take books to all parts of the county. 1941, Wayne County started contributing funds to the Goldsboro Library and it was not until then that it was made a county library. Miss Susan Borden was employed as county librarian. In its first year of operation, Miss Borden reported in the Argus that the bookmobile traveled 6,500 miles in Wayne County and distributed a total of 19,445 books to roughly 895 registered borrows. By 1947, the library had grown its collection at the Solomon Wheelhouse from the original 1,400 volumes and one librarian to 18,000 volumes and a staff of five. Prior to 1942, the black adult population in Wayne County had no access to library facilities. Although many of the black schools did have libraries, they were only open while school was in session. This critical need was addressed in 1942 when the city, at the urging of black civic leaders, opened a small black branch located at the, quote, Colored Community Center at 516 South Leslie Street. Mrs. Lavinia Watson, a former school teacher under the auspices of the New Deal Era Works Progress Administration was appointed as the first county black librarian. She served for 23 years and saw the branch grow from one small room in an integral part of the Wayne County Public Library system. When it later became apparent that more space was needed, the library moved from the community center to a larger converted store on West Pine Street. At that time, the library was dedicated to the late Alice H. Brown, a county home demonstration agent and first wife of Professor Hugh Victor Brown, the principal of Dillard High School. Two auxiliary branches were established at Lincoln Homes and Fairview Homes. By 1960, the Alice H. Brown Library moved to the North Carolina Mutual Insurance Building at 133 North James Street between West Mulberry and West Walnut. Through the use of the bookmobile from the main library, she was able to take books to the people in the county who, because of their isolation, had no use of the county facilities. In 1964, all branches in the county became available to the general public at large. Phase five, we're going from a Victorian house on Chestnut Street to a contemporary ranch style building on Ash Street, a transition into the modern era, 1964 to roughly 1977. By 1964, Goldsboro Branch of the Wayne County Public Library System continued to be housed in the Victorian era home of the late Solomon Wheel. By the late 1970s, the Wayne County Public Library System grew through the auspices of the donations and tax dollars. Libraries began to open in Fremont, 
which opened in 1966. Pikeville opened in 1967. Seven Springs, 1967. And Mount Olive's Steel Memorial, which was dedicated in 1933. The Goldsboro Alice H. Brown Library was also dedicated. For a number of years, the trustees had recognized the limitations of the wheel home as a permanent headquarters for the library. A $750,000 estimated construction goal was reached and with an estimated completion schedule to be reached by July 4th, 1976. The new library was dedicated in January 1977 and is situated on the northwest corner of Ash and Jackson Streets. It was designed to be a part of the cultural and recreational area planned for the entire block directly adjacent to Herman Park, which is on land donated by the Wheel Brothers in 1890. Continuing with Phase 5, the local history room came into being in about 1976. It was largely through the efforts of a Goldsboro group of interested citizens that the local history room came into being. Headed by some familiar names, the group included Jack Cobb, Charles Norwood Sr., Conway Rose, Mrs. James Lewis, and Mrs. Emmett Robinson. Mr. Cobb stated, it is the plan of this group that the room not be kept as a museum, but be used on a daily basis. We hope that teachers will bring students here to study traditional furnishings or learn the history of our county and the citizens and we'll find a restful place in which to explore the rich heritage of our county. Our programs today include a wide range of topics from the history of baseball in Wayne County to powerful Wayne County women who made enormous shifts in society that have affected our lives today. This is an opportunity for us to say we are open and we want you to come into the library. We want to help our patrons and community to understand and interpret Wayne County history, as well as inform the community of unknown or local lost history. Phase six brings us up to date to the present. We went from hard copy books to the digital age and until recently, the COVID-19 epidemic has totally shifted our library into more virtual programming. The evolution of the libraries in Wayne County has been well documented in our local history collection at the Goldsboro branch. In our collection, we have the first minutes of the Goldsboro Library Committee from 1907. We also have detailed ledgers keeping track of numbers of books having been checked out, fiction or nonfiction, adult or juvenile, etc. We're in the process of digitizing our local history collection to make it available to search online. During the COVID-19 epidemic, we have turned to a virtual system to put our public programming online for patrons to view at a safe distance on their mobile devices or at home on their personal computer. Wayne County Public Library is a community cornerstone where ideas are explored and possibilities are discovered through the collaboration and connections with one another and the world. We bring people together to explore, discover, and connect. Come to the library and get a library card. Explore our resources. Reserve a meeting room. Learn a new skill. Come explore our garden, become a friend of the library, attend our virtual programs on our YouTube channel, explore our local history and genealogy, and bring in the kids. We have Art Smart and lots of book clubs. We've introduced you to the Women's Club of Goldsboro and the Wayne County Public Library and its evolution. Our next virtual program, you will learn about the Red Path Chautauqua Institution that came to Goldsboro in the mid-19-teens. 
Chautauqua was the apex of Wayne County cultural life in the early 1900s. The Red Path Chautauquans, a traveling road show which presented Shakespeare, opera, poetry, and other cultural edifications throughout the United States, came to Goldsboro. The Chautauqua Institution is still in existence today, though it no longer travels. Thank you for joining us in our virtual programming on the Wayne County Public Library.